Hi my beautiful family, today we are here to review and create a couple of makeup looks with some of these palettes. Now I don't really know which one I should choose first. Uh, I immediately fell in love when I saw these and I think they're beautiful. I haven't tried any of the mini versions, these obsession palettes from Huda Beauty and I've watched a couple of reviews already. Some people love it, some people don't love it. I think it's very important to know that some of the shades here are pressed pigments, with me, which means it's going to be harder to work with or to blend in the crease. So you, the best way to apply these eyeshadows are, is to kind of uh, pack them on the lid and slightly just keep on packing without adding more eyeshadows so it will create this, that, that nice blend. Uh, so if you find, I don't know which shades are in here are pressed pigments. Let me just open it. This one is green. I mean, all of them are so beautiful, more beautiful in real. I don't know which shades are pressed pigments and what shades are sh eyeshadows. But you'll probably seen so many reviews about these already. So I'm just going to go in and create makeup looks. I do want to swatch them. I didn't even touch them. So I'm very interested to swatch all of these. So let's. I think I want to try this green first. They are very nice. The best way to get this uh, bright eyeshadow is to use very light, uh, very light base. These are beautiful. I've seen Tati, Tati's review and she thought that these were crumbly. Yeah, I don't see that right now, but probably be more careful when I apply this. I don't mind, I don't care about that. They don't feel crumbly right now, so. Oh, these are beautiful. Very nice. I think I'm going to go in with this green. And I know I have these two also, but I don't want to I don't want to use all of them in one video. I want to do three different videos every video for every palette because maybe you're not interested in buying all of them. Maybe you're just interested in by only one or two. So I uh, just want to make it easier for you guys. So let's go in. I already primed my eyes with this. Where is it now? Can't find it, of course. This MAC Prep and Prime. It's not my favorite, but it's the only one that I have in front of me right now. And it's not like it doesn't have any coverage. So I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star Concealer. I don't like applying concealers on my eyelids because it creases, but maybe with this under it, it won't crease as fast. But I just want that nice uh, base. And I love that these have mirrors. So let's put some, and I won't set it. These are definitely outside my comfort zone, but I don't own anything like this. So that this is, that's the why, that's the reason why I got this because I don't own anything like this. And they will be so nice in my collection. I'm not used to have these shades, but I want to go out outside my comfort zone. So what I'm, I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this brush from um, Soso and Kaylee or Kaylee collection. This is Esco 02. And I want to go in this into this green shade. A lot of pigment. And I think this is pressed pigment. So I'm going to go in my crease and build it up there. Beautiful. I don't care if these are going to stain my lids. I don't mind eyeshadow stain my lids or pressed pigments. So I saw some people say that these don't have any creasing shade, but these are. You can use them in, cre in your crease. Maybe you're just not used to use these shades in the crease, but I don't see why you can't do that. I actually want to go in with this lighter green here on top. 
just to blend this first shade that we had in the crease. With the same brush, of course. I want to go in, use my fin fingers and uh, go in this shade here and kind of tap it on the edge a little bit because I don't think this will work with the brush. Oh, such a beautiful shade. But let's try it with a brush, with dry brush. Let's go in with this 305 Linda Hull bag that I love using too. Well, it's not bad, but of course it goes better on with the finger. And I want to go in uh, in this shade here with the same brush. Hmm. It doesn't really want to apply with the brush. The finger works much better. These are more like toppers. Oh wow, that's pretty. And then what I'm very excited about is to use uh, this yellow shade on the rest of the lid. Uh, see if we can use it with the brush. Mm, no, not really. It will. This one is a little bit crumbly. Let's see if we can take the pinky. Oh wow, a little bit of fallout, but this is cute, this is cute. And I think it would look much better if I had like white base to this. Back in this one, tween, this one dark. I definitely recommend do your eye eye look first before go, you go in with this. That's so pretty. I'm not used. To, I'm not used to see myself in these kind of bright shades, but that is that is what's fun with makeup. Play with something you're not used to, and see how it's looking. Okay, so I'm going to dust off the fallout, and I want to go in into low lash line. We to take same brush as co to the head for the crease and I want to go in this to this shade. This is like my favorite shade. So I'm going to take this brush from Zoeva. This is three, 230. And I'm going to go into this white shade in the middle and kind of that's nice. This white looks so white in the pan, but actually it has that green nice shine to it. I don't know if you can see it in here, but it has like a green undertone. So I'm going to do, put some mascara on and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I just put some, some eyelashes on. These are Pract eyelashes in style Uptown Vibes. And I just put, some, put them on to kind of make this look okay. They're not perfect applied, but who cares? I really like this palette so far. So this is one makeup look. It's kind of strange to see myself like this because I'm not used these, to these bright shades. But this is the first makeup look and I'm going to create a second makeup look. And uh, so far I'm liking it. So let's go in the look number two. Okay, so let's go in and create the look, second look with this palette. Uh, I'm going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics number no. four eyeshadow brush. 
and I think I want to do hmm, I want to take this shade all over the eyelid and also in the crease I have Jeffree Star Concealer as the base and I didn't set it I'm going to kind of set, set it with this eyeshadow. I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take the brush that I always use and it's 305 in the half band. I'm going to go in this shade here. This is a little bit crumbly. And place it, try to place it on the edge here. Does it work? Can't see. No, not really. Doesn't want to apply with the brush. Let's try with the finger. See? Much better. Okay, this is a nice shade, but it's very hard to work with. And I feel like this one is hardest from them all. I'm try, going to try to blend the crease a little bit more, going back with my brush that I had before. Where is it? Just try to blend. And I'm going to take my finger and I really, really want to go into this shade. This is a beautiful shade in the center. You see that? Let me zoom in a little bit. So, you can't really go precisely when you go in with your fingers. But I mean, I don't mind for everyday look. I'm going to try to use the brush and go back in that shade that we had. And try to blend these together. Beautiful. I'm going to go in with this white. Not white, but very light green. Pop that here. Such a beautiful, natural, summery makeup look. And I want to go in the lime green under my low lash line. I think that can be a mistake too, but I'm here to make some mistakes. I really want to go in with this bright, the brightest shade in here. I don't know if I like that. Now I'm going to go over it with this shade that we had in the crease. much better so I'm going to put some eyelashes on and mascara and I'll be right back so this is my final look or my second look with this green obsession palette neon green obsession palette and I think it's a beautiful makeup look of course you can put any shade these matte shades all over the eyelid or just have a nice brown shade in the crease and then apply the shimmer shades all over the eyelid I mean this is a very very nice beautiful palette uh, I think it's fun it's a little bit harder to work there are a lot of fallouts from the glittery shades so beware of that but I really like this palette I mean it's something different it's harder to work with than the other eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty I haven't tried these either but definitely going to create makeup looks with these and let me know which one do you want to see next, green or uh, orange or purple.
purple one or pink one orange or pink one but please guys uh, hit the like button if you like these makeup looks don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i hope i see you in my next video i love you all bye